Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we are talking about the crystal soul. I have had this video so highly requested on what is a crystal soul. And if you felt guided to this video or your higher self literally bridged you to this video, it is most likely because you are some hybrid of a crystal soul um, energy that you embody in this lifetime. And if you are aware of the crystal soul characteristics and what it means to be a crystal soul, you'll be able to navigate this life a lot smoother and find your purpose and your passion and what you came here to, to do because you have a big mission and don't feel like you're purposeless or if you're going through a dark drought that like you're like, what the hell do I do with my life? If you are a crystal soul, this will clear up a lot for you. So I wanna get straight into this video. Uh, quickly before I do, if you are um, from Ireland and you're wanting to know, uh, I can't even talk. If you're from Ireland, I'm gonna be doing in-person readings in Dublin on the 20th, let me just double check. Yeah, the 20th and the 21st of this month in August. So wait till the end of the video if you wanna hear more about that. Um, I'll just chat a little bit about that at the end on how you can book in if you wanna have an in-person reading with me. Um, but without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. So Dolores Cannon, if you haven't heard of her, get to know her, she's amazing. She's a woman who just bit the bullet, incarnated and exposed the spiritual world, really shocked the nation and woke up a lot of people. She really shed light on spirituality when it was such a dark age thing. You know, spirituality is only somewhat becoming more mainstream now. Um, and people are awakening to truth a lot faster now. But at the time she, she came out and she said there was three waves of volunteers. So there was three waves of souls that were going to incarnate over the next 100 years that are here to guide the ascension pathway and here to ascend earth, mother earth, because this earth has been under control and trap and illusion and dark forces for such a long time that they needed to send in volunteers, light workers, souls who could incarnate on this earth to help ascend this world, wake them up to higher truth and allow everyone to tap into their infinite potential. So the first wave of volunteers she spoke about were the indigo souls. I'm not gonna get into indigos, but indigos are super rebellious. A lot of crystals have parents who are indigos, um, which is very interesting. So indigos have indigo auras. They're here to break systems. They're super rebellious. They don't go against the current. They go the complete opposite. Um, and the second wave was the crystals. And I myself am a crystal soul, so I'm going to give you some characteristics on what a crystal soul is. And yeah, I hope this video helps you because if you're not aware that you're a crystal soul, um, we can feel very crazy at times. And I know for most of my life, I felt crazy. I felt so different. I felt so highly sensitive. I was like, what is wrong with me? I thought something was deeply wrong with me because I was so hypersensitive compared to everyone else. So these are some characteristics of the crystal soul. So the purpose of a crystal soul essentially is to be a healer or a psychic. Um, they're not the main purposes, but most crystals would be super, um, they have, would have a very potent healing energy and they would also be very psychic, hyper intuitive. So uh, characteristics of uh, crystal souls could be when you were younger, um, let's say your mom had a friend around and like everyone said she was really nice, but you just felt something was wrong. That's, that's the innate intuitiveness that crystals hold. We have very strong intuitions and we kind of just can discern people very fast, very quickly. We also have very healing energy, a very soft, almost angelic energy. A lot of crystals have a ton of angels around them and they would have very angelic energy, okay? Crystals also have to go, not have to, but majority of crystals I've seen have gone through um, quite a bit of trauma in their childhood. And the purpose for that is when a child goes through trauma, we naturally, because we have to shock the, the human a little bit so that they wake up faster in this lifetime. Um, and essentially for me, for example, I went through a lot of trauma as a child as I was born with a disability. I wasn't able to walk. I had a hip condition. So I had six surgeries before the age of one. I was in a wheelchair for years. I was in hospital in and out all my childhood. Um, a lot of trauma in my, in my leg um, because of this disability that I had. And when kids go through trauma, what starts to happen is in our older age, we feel very traumatized and shocked by the world. So we have to go within because that's the purpose of the crystal. We go within and we heal ourselves. So I went on an initiation of a healing journey. I went through my spiritual awakening around three years ago and I decided to embark on a healing journey where I completely purged all energy in my body. I completely purged all emotions and learned how to fully heal myself so that I can then heal others. And that is one of the purposes of the crystals. It is to become the healer that they are meant for. So crystals make incredible nurses, incredible um, teachers, therapists, um, like what, what's it when like people go to the old home? like caretakers, like babysitters, we're nurturers, we're healers, we're lovers, okay? So that would be the characteristics of the crystal soul, but we are hyper attuned and hypersensitive. 
And what this means is we essentially are like chameleons. So if we see another person, we can camouflage and blend into their aura because we're a crystal we have a crystal aura so we essentially morph into whatever energy we are around and this is something you have to be really careful with because this is something that happened for me in my many lives was i felt like i had multiple personalities and it really confused me because i was like who the hell am i because if i would hang out with a certain person i would inst instantaneously become that person i would act like them i would sound like them i would start to look like them whoever i was hanging around it's like a different archetype of me would come out and that's what the crystal is here to do we're essentially here to blend in like chameleons to heal others around us and influence others so we don't essentially we're not meant to just go somewhere and change a person we're meant to stand and anchor in our light and that naturally uh, influences people around us because we can't do work for other people okay we can we can but we shouldn't so that's one of the things of the crystals is we almost feel like we need to help everyone and we almost jump into their energetic field and feel things for them. But that's not what we came here to do. And I had to learn that the hard way through feeling so much people's emotions. Uh, crystal souls are very hypersensitive to other people and hypersensitive to energy. Um, so you'll be hypersensitive to cosmetics. You'll be hypersensitive to even skincare, lotions. I had to completely quit fake tan. I had to quit all mainstream makeup and cosmetics because I was so hypersensitive to the products. I had to stop bleaching my hair. Um, you'll be hypersensitive to your deodorants, to all that sort of stuff, as well as food, hypersensitive to coffee or caffeine. You'll be hypersensitive to lighting, um, certain stimulations, you're very easily stimulated. Um, a lot of things you'll be hypersensitive to, but this is your gift. Because hypersensitive people, we are able to feel energies very quickly, which makes us amazing healers. And we have very clear auras, very clear channels. Water is very important for the crystal, um, whether that be living near the sea, drinking a ton of water, uh, a lot of blue. The crystal has a very, uh, a very deep connection to blue and angels. So um, water is, it's a very clear channel. You will have a very angelic presence. You'll have a very calm energy and people always come to you for advice and this is one of the lessons of the crystal is setting boundaries because we naturally are in the spiritual realm as well we have one foot in the spiritual one foot in the physical so we feel energies we can tune into guides we can tune into angels we can tune into all these different realms but we're also here in physical earth and one of the biggest lessons of the crystal is to balance because we're not perfect we're human beings um no one is perfect so it's important to know we also have lessons which is balance um as one and two is boundaries because crystals want to help everyone crystals can be a bit too nice at times take it from me <laughs> Um, we could be people pleasers because we want to please everyone because we feel the energy of another so if we have an argument with someone we before no like before we even feel like we need to stand up for someone we can feel the energy they're going to react to and we then freak out we don't want that so that's why people crystals will want to keep everyone calm because we don't like uh, conflict at all okay uh, crystals are most likely not meant to eat a lot of meat because we are so hypersensitive we will feel and ingest the trauma that that animal went through to be killed so usually crystals will go through a vegan or vegetarian diet of some form crystals cannot have casual sex i'm not saying cannot i mean you can but it's not recommended because crystals um have such a light energy that when you mix your life force with somebody that you don't have a connection with or don't have much respect for or anything like that um, you're taking on a lot of uh, baggage for them and you're cleansing it for them so it's very important that you have a clear channel at all times that is one of the biggest things i've learned from being a crystal um i'm only 23 years old but i am i feel like i'm 125 million years old <laughs> but in the 23 years i've learned as being a crystal one of the biggest things i've learned is you have to keep yourself a clear channel and constantly check in with your energy and make sure you're not picking up other people's energies so i will always wear crystals i can only wear crystal jewelry now and um, i have crystals under my pillow i have them everywhere in my home again you don't need anything outside of yourself but it does help me um cleanse my energy water is super important the more water you you hold um very important you drink a lot of water as a crystal i mean everyone but crystal specifically um what else about crystals yeah so a lot of crystals will cry a lot that's another thing i do want to say we'll go through if you feel you're you cry too much or you're too sensitive and people shame you for being too sensitive just do that uh, <laughs> because it's your gift it's your beauty and one thing i want to make very clear is crystals are not weak that was one thing when i discovered i was a crystal i thought i was super weak because i was super sensitive i was tired all the time i was like what is wrong with me i'm weak crystals are the most powerful people and the spirit animal 
Not for all crystals, but a lot of crystals I see is a deer. This would be my spirit animal. Um, and what a deer really represents to me is we're very, um, there's a very softness and elegance to crystals. Like we're very gentle, but there's also a lot of power. Deers are like, you know, they have very straight up postures, like a swan. And um, that's the kind of energy, like swans. Okay, I'm hearing that. Yeah, swans and deers would be very crystalline energy. So we have a lot of power and that's one of the lessons we'll learn to integrate. So do not be afraid of power uh, because you need that or else you will be completely walked over in this lifetime. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. If you don't regain some sovereignty and some power, people will take advantage of your kindness and your sweetness. So it's learning to have boundaries because you didn't hear, you didn't come here to just be a doormat, okay? Um, another thing with the crystals is we will cleanse. We're like street sweepers, meaning if you walk down anywhere, you are literally cleansing the energy. You are picking it all up. But that's why it's so important when I hear water, like showering off that water. Like I love baths and I put Epsom salt in my bath to cleanse my auric field because you pick up a lot of stuff because you're a cleanser. Your purpose is mainly just to be here in this physical body and in this crystalline energy. That's all you really need to do. And then whatever your intuition guides you to is your purpose, is your mission. So you just follow your intuition and what your life path is meant to be. Okay, but you are a sweeper, you cleanse energy. And that's why I kind of want to go back to the casual sex thing is you're doing a ton of light work for people if you're just sleeping with loads of people and down the line, you're just going to add more baggage to yourself. So that's just something I'm going to be truthfully honest with. I'm not saying, you know, that's all I would say with that. So it's important to really be conscious of your energy. But when it comes to the street sweepers, we cleanse a lot of energy. So it's important you constantly recheck with your energy and your energy should be your main priority. Your cup should overflow to the point that whatever overflow comes out, you give to others, but you must fill your own cup up first or else crystals can get very drained. Um, and one of the lessons of crystals is balance because sometimes we don't know balance and we overwork, then we completely burn out. So it's finding solitude and balance. But wherever you are in your journey, know you are perfect. I want to welcome you to the crystal family and I love you because, uh, excuse me, most of my life I felt I was crazy because I was so hypersensitive. I was like, something is deeply wrong with me. Why am I so butthurt about everything? <laughs> like super sensitive. I could feel things very deeply. But no, it is your blessing. It is your gift and it is your beauty. In a world of people who are so emotionally darkened, there's no emotion flowing through them. You are a beautiful light. I never forget that. Everyone is beautiful and unique in their own way and own that. So if any of those characteristics resonated with you, I can do a multitude of more videos. I know this was kind of sloppy, if you will. I was just kind of going from here to there. But um, there's a lot more I can go into depth with the crystal soul because there's a lot I've learned. And um, it's important that if you take anything from this, it's really being sovereign with your energy, okay? I'm really looking after your energy. Uh, crystals are super powerful manifestors. Just want to say that as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. If there, There's definitely things I forgot, but I can do another video on that. Um, but I also want to let you know that I have created a free angel manifestation hypnosis. This is amazing for crystals because it allows you to align with the angelic frequencies, the angelic dimension and the seven dimension. Align with that frequency and allow you to uplift your frequency to manifest things in this physical reality that you need in order to help you on your path. So I'm going to leave that down below. It's completely free. I kindly, kindly ask that you please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. And I really want to get this message across to a lot of people uh, because a lot of people are crystals and they're not even aware that they are. Um, and it'll be very powerful for them if they're, they, they find this video. So please give it a thumbs up. You're not just helping me, but you're helping a lot of people that need this. Um, and yeah, I want to quickly mention again. So I'm going to be doing readings on the 20th and the 21st of August of this month in Dublin City. Um, so if you want to click the link down below, it's the psychic reading. And there's two options. There's one for Zoom, which you won't click because it's in person. Click the one which is in person. And if you fit any of those time slots, I can't wait to meet you and hug you and do a reading for you, a healing session with you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments where you are from. Let me know your story. I, I read every comment and also comment any requests you have on more videos you want me to talk about this topic. So I'm sending you all the love in the world. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Happy Crystal. Happy Crystal Day. <laughs>